So a couple of days ago, I did what if the Nets struck out in free agency, they didn't get their two stars in Kyrie and KD. So today we're going to be doing that for the Western Conference team that had a really good 2019 offseason. We're going to be doing what if the Clippers kept rebuilding and they didn't get Kawhi or they didn't sign Kawhi and they didn't trade for Paul George in the 2019 offseason. So we're going to be doing a realistic Clippers rebuild today, building around Shea Gilgis Alexander and whoever we add to this team in the future. Also yesterday, I did drop a, another episode of the 2000 franchise with the Supersonics. We drafted a really nice player at pick eight. We signed a player that you might've forgot of. He was a really good point guard. It was really fun. Link to my channel or my second channel in the description below. You should definitely check that out. Okay, so like the Nets, I don't know if we're gonna be as bad as the Nets were in the first year and win 25 games. We do get our draft picks. We have a plethora of picks because we have a couple of heat picks in here as well. Uh, we're gonna act like the Marcus Morris trade didn't happen either. So we don't have Marcus Morris. They still bought out Reggie Jackson, sure. And the rest of the 2019 offseason happened and the Thunder still traded away Russell Westbrook for Chris Paul. They still made that trade because let's say Russ wanted out. So we are going to, or they just ended up trading him anyway. I think it would be fun um, for video purposes if that stayed the same. So we are obviously gonna build around Gildas Alexander will definitely try to retain Montrez Harrell. Gallo, though, we should look to trade for to see if we can get a first round pick for him. Either it's the Portland, either it's the Miami. We should definitely look to move him. Lou will, I'll probably trade in the offseason. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And anybody else here, I don't think I'm going to move. Uh, so I'm going to trade Gallo either right now or at the deadline. So we are going to see if Dallas would give me their 2020 first round pick and Courtney Lee for Danilo Gallinari. We had an exception and they agreed to that. So we're going to have Dallas's 2020 unprotected first round pick uh, with trading Gallinari to them. So yeah, that will be it for me. We are pretty much just going to develop Shea and he's really the only guy that's definitely in our future plans. Matras Harrell a little bit, but really only Shea. Is there anybody I'm going to send to the G League this year? Uh, we'll send Mafondu. Yeah, so we'll do that. And we're probably not going to be super good this year, but we still could make the playoffs. I hope we don't. But I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. All right, so we end the 2019-20 season with a 41-41 and record, which might have been the worst thing possible. LeBron wins MVP, Ja Rookie of the Year, Dennis Shooter Sixth Man of the Year, Kawhi Defensive Player of the Year, he stayed in Toronto, Luka Most Improved, and Frank Vogel Coach of the Year. Because if we weren't making the playoffs, I wanted to be pretty bad, and it was kind of annoying because like the last couple games of the season, we ended up going on a five-game winning streak, so we were... 41 or we're 36 and 41 so you know what we could have been 36 and 46 that would have been a little bit better because now we're probably gonna have the 14th pick in the nba draft the mavericks made the playoffs so they ended up trading like the 20th pick for gallo basically uh yeah we'll have the 13th pick behind the suns which isn't great which definitely isn't great so what we could do is check out our stats and we are building around one player and he was phenomenal this year sga averaged about 22 points five and a half rebounds six assists shot 50 percent from the field 80 percent from the line in his second season that is fantastic we will coming off another good year if we feel like we can be good with him i'll keep him but there is a chance i could definitely trade him to get maybe a future pick a young player we'll see he is 33 but he's on a nice contract or he's got what one year left on it or two years left one year left eight mil though i think we could probably get a late first for him. Uh, Montrezl Harrell, we are going to look to bring back. I don't know if he's going to be the center or the power forward for the future. Reggie Jackson, we might look to bring back as a backup point guard. Patrick Beverly, 10-5-5. He was all right. Um, we, we are paying him a decent amount of money. He's 31. We'll see what we're going to do with him going forward. And then there's Zubats, who I would like to... Okay, he's still under contract. And then Mo Harkless, gone. Patterson, probably gone. Noah, gone. And then Mufandu. Oh, wow. Sherman didn't really play this year. I dropped the ball on that one. All right. So let's simulate the playoffs here. I can't believe I didn't play Randy Sherman because I could have just sent him to the G League if I wasn't going to play him. But I thought he was really in the rotation. But yeah, I dropped the ball on that one. The Lakers do win it all. LeBron is your finals MVP. They beat the Lakers in six. So the Rockets with Russ go to the conference finals. The Mavericks with Gallo win a playoff series. Okay. And then the Raptors were the one seed but got swept by the Celtics and the Thunder did not make the playoffs with Chris Paul and Paul George. Okay. So we would have to get insanely lucky to win the lottery. And actually the first episode of the Supersonic series on my second channel, I think it was the Spurs. No, it was the Mavericks, I believe. They went from 13 to 1. So you never know. Maybe I'll get some luck like that here. That would be kind of crazy. But no, we cannot get that type of luck. We have the 13th pick, our pick in the draft. And then we have 23 via Dallas. I'm going to try to maybe use Lou Will in 23 to move up or something like that. I don't know. I think we can definitely look to move Lou Will. Uh, we'll pick up Kuba Gooding. 
Uh, Derek Irving, we could fire. His ratings aren't very good. Doc Rivers will keep. We'll keep Sam Cassell for now. Matthew Thomas's ratings aren't great either. We'll hire Owen Masters, and then we'll pick up Logan Mills to be our CFO, and we go four for four. So it is the 2020 NBA draft now, and we could check out the mock drafts and see who they have us selecting at pick 13. Jaden McDaniels, okay, that is draft expresses prediction. Josh Green, all right, so no like game changing prospects. Any of you, I mean, that'd be kind of cool if Danny fell to us. So. Okay, I'm going to offer a pretty favorable trade here to the Magic. We are going to be trading Lou Will. I know he wants to spend his career here in LA. He was coming off a great season, but I think we should try to move on from him. We are going to trade him and 23. Actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to trade 23. Could we do 15? Can we do two second round picks? This Pistons pick might be really nice in 2021. So we'll do that and our second round here and we will for pick 15 to the Magic. They were one of the worst offensive teams in the NBA. So they're adding Will Will to their team and we're kind of maybe finessing them here because he is 33, but it's the 15th pick. A couple years ago, Tim Hardaway Jr. went for like the 18th pick. So it's around that range. Obviously, Will Will is a little bit older, but they need the offense and they are going to make this trade and they don't have any like desperate needs at any position. So they are going to do this trade and we're throwing in two seconds. So now we have three first round picks we have 13 15 and 23 i'll see you guys at rookie signings with the three players i select all right so a lot of good players kind of fell to us in this draft so at pick 10 we took tyrese halliburton out of iowa state he's a 76 overall at 15 obi toppin fell to us he's from dayton 76 overall two guys that might go top 10 in real life and then killian is another guy that might go top 10 he is a 73 we took him with the 23rd pick he could be a g league guy for next year um halliburton i'm thinking can he play next to Shea Gojis Alexander, he possibly could. I don't know who'd be the point guard out of the two, but we'll have to figure that out. Obi Toppin could be our starting power forward with Harold at the center or something like that. He could be a backup, who knows. So we are going to obviously sign all three of those players. Jermichael Green, Opsin did not want that, but we are definitely going to bring back Shamit. Ooh, with Hayes, Shea, Halberton, and Shamit, we have a lot of shooting guards. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to convert one of them to point guard. Um, it's either going to be Halberton or Hayes. So free agency, I don't think we're going to make any crazy signings here in year one we were a solid team we are going to look to bring back Montrez harrell uh can we not i'll we'll see if this price goes down from 20 mil reggie jackson could definitely be a backup point guard but we just drafted a bunch of guards so i don't know we probably need a small forward as well so we have our centers with harrell back and like we'll have obi toppin and zubats okay we could probably use a small forward and yeah we don't really need a backup point guard so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna get harrell and we'll bring in probably somebody just on a one-year deal. Like a GR. Eh, Kent Bazemore fits our system well. So we'll bring in Kent Bazemore. And we will bring back Montrose Harrell. Maybe for a little bit cheaper than 20 mil a year. We'll see if anybody goes after him. So we got Bazemore. We're not going to bring back Jackson, Patterson, Noah, Harkless, Lee. Okay, I want to see if Harrell will accept this five-year, $83 million contract. And he might. Okay, it's 95 interest um, rating. So that's what just under 16 or just a little bit above 16 mil a year which is actually pretty good i will take that if he accepts that and he does so a lot better than paying him 20 mil a year we save about four mil a year which we might need if we want to get a big guy down the line uh beverly's under contract two more years same with zubats okay beverly's contract i don't know i don't know if it's valuable to us right now as we're still kind of rebuilding or we're still trying to get there and i think next year it'll be a nice free agency class we can go out for some guys maybe i'll go out and get paul george and Kawhi. who knows but we're still acting like we didn't get them in 2019 and they chose um or we didn't get Kawhi, so we didn't go out and trade for paul george so uh yeah i like the team a lot so we have what five six seven mm, okay basemore eight Kevin Gelly could probably be nine, and then Hayes will be in the G League next year. So play progression, Chase in 86. Harrell actually goes down. Okay, there's Zubats, Beverly, Shimmit. Everybody else went up. I don't know why Montrez went down. All right, so we should have three training camps here, and I'm going to send Shea to perimeter shooting. We are going to send, I think, Montrez to big man offense. And then we have one more. Let's send Con or let's send Tyrese Halliburton to combo guard if we're going to groom him to be our next point guard or shooting guard where wherever we decide to play him next to Shea because he might be the future there. All right, guys. So here's the rotation for season number two. It's Beverly SGA Bazemore, who's just a bridge gap small forward. Obi Toppin and Harrell will be the front court. Halliburton, Shamit, Zubats, and Capigalli will become um or will be off the bench. System proficiency three and a half stars. I do have to send Killian Hayes to the Agua Caliente Clippers of Ontario. Uh, that is the G League affiliate of the Clippers. And our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is 18th. Do we have the Heat's first round pick this year? Okay, so we have a swap best with the Rockets, and we have a swap worst with the Knicks. So I actually, 
have to fix that because the Marcus Morris trade didn't go down. Um, so that that's a little bit messed up. And this one, I got to make sure. I think the swap best was still a thing. No, wait, that might have been from... Yeah, that is definitely from the Chris Paul trade. So I have to take those restrictions off um, and make them just unprotected picks. So we ended the 2020-21 season with a 40-42 and 42 record. So one less win this year than the previous year. So Giannis is your MVP. Lamelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. The Pacers got the third pick and he's on the Pacers. Uh, Dennis Shooter, Sixth Man of the Year. AD, Defensive Player of the Year. Ja gets Most Improved. Incredible last year, sophomore got Amuka, the shoot John Morant, and Brett Brown of the coaches gets coach of the year. Did I just say of the coaches or Sixers? My bad, I meant of the Sixers gets coach of the year. I'm stupid. So we actually made the playoffs with a losing record this year. Okay, uh, maybe that Knicks pick will actually work out for us, but no. Um, actually, no, neither way it was working out for us. But yeah, the only way I was able to revert them back originally is I have to just do trade over right after the lottery. So we'll get to that in a little bit. We just have the Heat unprotected first, which will be around... 16 17 and our pick will be around 15 16 so um yeah we'll get those two picks in the draft we are taking on the lakers in round one battle of la but we are probably not going to win um they brought back brooke lopez okay they have jj barrea as well if we check out the stats shea was still really good career high in points career high in rebounds not a career high in assists, but he was still phenomenal. 46, 35, 86 splits. Career high in free throw and three-point percentage. Just kidding, not three-point percentage, but still was really good. Matras Harold, 19 and 7. Uh, he's getting paid. I, I also front-loaded the contract as well, so it's going to be going down every year, which is pretty nice as he's 27. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton as a rookie, 14 points, 6 assists. Could be the starting point guard next year. We'll see. Kent Bazemore, he wasn't very good. He won't be back. Anyway, Zubats. Might be the backup center still, or if we look to move him, if we like Mufondu here. Uh, so he wasn't bad, actually. So Kevin Gelly might be the backup center next year. Shamit, what do you shoot from three? 33%, okay. And then there's Beverly Toppin, seven and a half, six and a half. I didn't really envision him as the B, our starting power forward for the future. But we will have a lot of cap space for free agency, and Killian Hayes is up to a 78 overall. So round one here against the Lakers, we are actually up three to one. I probably shouldn't have stopped the momentum, but yeah. Shea is averaging 27 and 7. Oh my god, are we going to beat the Lakers? We just upset the Lakers. Okay, yeah. NBA free agents in 2021 are on notice after that. And are we going to face Gallo, or did they not bring him back? Of course, they didn't bring him back. But yeah, we are taking on the Mavericks here. We'll see if we can move on to the conference finals. That'd be insane. And we lose in 7. Oh, we were so close to going to the conference finals. And it's Grizzlies versus... Mavericks, I think we could have beat the Grizzlies, but they ended up winning it all. John Moran is just that good in 2K20. He's your finals MVP. They beat the Sixers in six. I think that's the second straight year the Sixers have lost in six. So here were the playoff stats. Tyrese Halliburton was actually really good. I think he might be the starting point guard next year. Yeah, he might be. Uh, Montrez Harrell, probably the starting center of power forward. Shea, starting shooting guard. And then, yeah, okay, so that was pretty much the team uh beverly will be the contract here next year but you know he wasn't horrible for us i mean can't hit his free throws i guess or he can't hit from two pointer but you know what he was a fan from three in the playoffs but throughout the regular season yeah i don't think he could be our starting point guard anymore but obviously he's more of a defensive point guard so draft lottery let's see where the lottery has us selecting in the draft uh so we should be around 15 and 16 so 16 via miami okay that's where we should be picking and then where's our pick 18 okay so that's actually correct all right so no swap things mess that up at all so we still have two first round picks they're not great but this is a better draft i mean we could definitely look to make a move to get up into the top 10 i mean we could offer 16 18 maybe the heat's 2023 20, lottery pick so three first round picks to move up to like six i think a team would definitely do that that's looking for more assets here uh maybe let's see who's got like six the next maybe they would be i mean uh maybe not okay so we are offering 16 18 miami's 2023 20, lottery first which i believe was from the mo harkless trade and detroit's 2023 20, second round unprotected pick for the fifth pick in the draft we'll see if the pistons do this and they do not do this okay so we can offer this to the Knicks and seeing if they want to trade down and maybe get more assets. If not, we will try this at seven. And then if not, we'll do it at eight as well. Okay, so the Knicks don't want to do that for seven. We'll see who does this for eight. Okay, so I thought this would be a valuable trade um, just to move down 10 spots, but you're basically getting three first round picks and a good second in 2023. So who has the eighth pick? It is the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I think they might do this without the second round pick. Yeah, we're moving up seven spots, three first round picks to move up seven spots. Let's see if they would just do our two first round picks this year. Okay, and I'll throw in the Miami pick here, and they agree to that. So we now have 
the eighth pick in the draft. I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I take. So we ended up taking Zaire Williams from Stanford, and I think he's going to be a great player for us. I don't know if he'll be our starting small forward when we're trying to compete for titles, but he could definitely be a rotational guy. So we are going to bring back SGA, Kevin Gelly, Shamit, not Terrence Mann or Magruder. Uh, maybe actually Terrence Mann, who knows? Uh, I, I doubt he'll be playing for us, but we won't bring him back. So we could try to warn Kawhi now and Paul George. We do not have enough for both of them, just because Montrezl Harrell is making some money, we probably have to either trade Zubats and probably Beverly if we wanted to get both. But it wouldn't hurt to try to get one. Because um, Shea is basically a star. So it's like Kawhi always wanted to play with that second star. Shea is a star. So, you know what? Let's go after Kawhi. Let's offer him a deal. I don't even know if we'll get him. We'll give him a no trade clause, player option, and the most I can give him. Uh, would we get Kawhi? No, it looks like he's going to stay in Toronto. Uh, maybe he will sign with us. Sometimes he does. We could try to get Paul George, but Paul George isn't great in 2K sometimes when you sign him here. But it is that star power we might need. Because uh, there really isn't anybody else. Yes, we could try to look for next offseason. Uh, but now might be the best chance to try to sign a star. And I think we are going to also offer Paul George a deal as well. But we're not going to give him a no trade clause. We will give him just four years, one nice meal. Uh, wow, I tried making a joke and that I couldn't pronounce that. So 169 mil for four years. Uh, we'll see if we get one of them. Give me Kawhi. Okay, we don't get Kawhi. But you know what? We will sign Paul George. We'll bring Paul George to the Bay. He signs with the Clippers. He plays with Shea. You know what? I like this. I like this. He, Kawhi goes back to the Raptors. That's fine. So we end up getting one of the players. Uh, one that they traded for. But hey, we didn't have to give up any assets for him. Uh, yes, he is 31 and not 29 or 28. But you know what? We can roll with it. So, hmm. I think Harold could... Okay, so I think Halliburton will be the starting point guard. Does his overall go down a lot? Mm, okay, so we'll keep him at shooting guard. But I think it'll be Halliburton starting shooting guard, SGA starting small forward, George small... Or SGA shooting guard, Paul George small forward. I guess Obi at the power forward position. And then Harold at the center will have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, mm, seven players off the bench. Yeah, we need to trade some guys. All right, so we are going to trade Landry Sherman to the Bucks for a future first round pick and two second round picks. So we can use that in a trade. Now, I think that might, mm, I think we're going to keep Beverly around. And yeah, we'll have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten man rotation. I think, do we have any free agents? Nope. Yeah, well, it'll be a 10 man rotation for next year. So player progression, Paul George is a 91 overall. And then we have Shade at 88, Harold, Zubats, Halbert, and let's see what he can do at point guard. We will have cap space next year because 14 million will be up in Beverly. We will have uh, Zubats up. So that's about 21 mil up in. Ah, oh, but Shea will be, I think, a restricted free agent. So never mind on that. But actually, we probably could maneuver it, just keep paying Shea um, and then not signing him just so other teams don't match him and then get somebody else. So there is a chance we can get a max free agent next year. I'm going to send Shea to perimeter shooting. We are going to keep. Uh we'll send um yeah we'll send halbert and a combo guard once again and then we will send i think Montrez harold to big man defense all right guys this is the rotation for next year it's halbert and sga george top and harold with hayes beverly williams and zubats and cabin jelly off the bench it's cabin jelly i do not know why i said cabin jelly sorry about that system proficiency grid and grind is three and a half stars Nothing is four stars, so we'll rock that. And our preseason power king, CoinNB.com, is now number seven. Let's see if we can be a top four team in the Western Conference this year. So we end the season with our best record yet. We go 46 and 36. That gives us the fifth seed in the Western Conference. And if you watched the Warriors video yesterday, the 3 P challenge with them, we should beat them today. Uh, but yeah, we... I don't know if this was disappointing. Maybe Paul George just isn't a great fit with SGA, but maybe we will be a playoff team. And we kind of need to go all in on next year. Paul George is getting up there in age. SGA is about to get a major deal. We either need to trade for, I think, a really good power forward or center or sign one and then play Harrell at whatever position we don't get. So if we get a power forward, play Harrell at center. If we get a center, play Harrell at power forward. Uh, so we can take a look at the stats from this year. Paul George, about 19 points, six rebounds, three and a half assists. Okay. 44, 35, 93 splits. I knew what I was getting into. Uh, Shea, 17 points. Yeah, numbers did go down. Uh, Matras Harrell, 16 points, 8 rebounds. About what he's been doing is offensive. Uh, or his points per game total did go down. So did his rebounds. Tyrese Halliburton, 14 points and 8 assists. All right. He might need to go to perimeter shooting next year. But you know what? At least he can average 8 assists tonight. I will definitely take that. Killian Hayes, about 11 and 3 off the bench. It's his rookie year. So maybe he'll get more efficient next year. Zaire Williams, 
was actually pretty solid. If we could develop him, I could, but the window is kind of getting smaller. So if we need to trade him, we might. Toppin is good. He's not a starter. I do need to move him to the bench. And then there's Zubats, Beverly, and Cabin Gelly. So let's go here to the playoffs where we are not going to be playing probably Mufondu. Yeah. Um, so we're going to play Zubats 15, Beverly 17, Williams 23, Hayes 19. Uh, let's make sure George is getting 37. Same with Shea. 33 to Harrell, and then we'll do 31 to Halliburton. So round one here against the Warriors. Can we get an upset round one victory like last year? Wow. So last year, we were one game away from going to the conference finals. This year, we lose in round one in six games to the Warriors. So Paul George was actually really good in those six games, so I cannot knock on him. Madras Harrell was solid as well. Shea was good. I wish he shot it a little bit more. Damn, I guess we just got outplayed. Tyrese really wasn't that efficient. Killian Hayes was... Really good. Wow, I think like most of our team, uh, Zaire, maybe I played him way too many minutes, it looks like. Okay, so let's move on here to the offseason where we need to make a big splash either in free agency or the trade market. Dallas wins it all. Luke is your finals MVP. So from the 2022 draft lottery, we will just have one pick in this draft and it is at pick 20. So we don't have a lot of assets to make a major move right now. I mean, we could move this. Maybe the Bucks pick later on or do I still have that? Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what this could get me. Tobias Harris. Okay, he could pick me up a power forward. Okay, we could try to see Demontis Sabonis. Okay. Odebo's in Detroit. We can look around. Okay, Clint Capella is done in Atlanta. He will be moving on to a new team after the season. So we could try to swoop in and get him. What would it cost me? Montrez Harrell. Ugh, okay. There's no point in doing that. And I don't know if a Harold Capello front court is smart because neither one of the two can shoot threes. Okay, we maybe should look around here. What about John Collins? He's going to test his value in free agency, but just signed a four-year deal, so never mind. Triple J did say he's done with Memphis, and he is a restricted free agent in the offseason. So maybe we could swoop in, but they'll probably match any deal. So we'll probably wait here till we can see the free agency market. We will bring back Doc Rivers. We'll get a new assistant coach in, let's see, Sam Casella. You know what? We'll bring him back as well. Uh, so we signed them both. So let's go to the draft. And I think I might just trade our pick and maybe a couple seconds for a future first. So we are going to trade the 20th pick or whatever it was in, a, in our second here for two future first round picks from the Boston Celtics. So now we have more capital if we want to make a trade. All right, so team player options, Zubats, Halliburton, Toppin, Kevin Gelly, Hayes, and Man. I'm not going to bring back Man, but I will bring back everybody. And I, if I'm going to go the route of signing somebody, I could probably move Zubats for two seconds or a first. So yeah, we're going to keep them for now, but then we could look to move them. Let's see here who's in free agency. Obviously, Shea's a restricted free agent. Do we have any other free agents? Beverly, okay. So let's see here. Any guys that we think we could sign Kyrie. I need a power forward or a center. Triple J is the guy, but will they will they match it? I mean, we can offer him a deal and see if he would sign with us, but we'll see. Actually, what is Shea's cap hold? Okay, it's at 8 mil. So if I wanted to sign him, I would have to read out the rights on everybody else. And I don't know if I want to do that. So Yusuf Nurkic is here, and we could probably pull off signing him and keeping Shea. It's just, I don't know if he's going to work well with Harold who can't shoot either. So if I'm giving up Zubats, mm, okay, Zubats, and like, I could give up three first round picks here. I don't know like what center or power forward we could really get for him. Um, obviously, we want to get somebody that's kind of on the trade market. So, you know, let me look around again. We could make a move for a 31 year old Nicole Jokic and see if he can help us win a championship next year. Miles Turner. Uh, he might resign. Okay, we can see what Triple J does in Memphis, though. So we'll wait and see on that. Um, so we aren't going to read out the rights on anybody just yet. We will on Terrence Mann, but nobody else. So I do want to at least make it through Moratorium without Shea signing somebody uh, somewhere else, in which he shouldn't. Okay, so we made it through Moratorium here, and it's looking like Triple J did go back to the Grizzlies. But is he unhappy there? You know what? His morale was low, and he wanted out before. So obviously, maybe... He requested a trade even though they won the championship a couple years ago. But, you know what? He wants out. What can we maybe give up for him? Okay. Obi Toppin. Okay. Obi Toppin. And we have one first round pick. Uh, we will also throw in... Hmm, do they like Zubats or Kevin Gelly better? Uh, Kevin Gelly's 24. Zubats 25. Zubats a little bit more proven. They probably like him more. So we'd give them two bigs. 
and four first, uh, three first round picks will be the initial offer. I don't know if they would accept this. No, uh, would they even accept four first round picks? Probably not, but who knows? Yeah, never mind. All right, I'm gonna offer Zubots a future Milwaukee and our lot of protected first for Nikola Vucevic. They don't seem interested in maybe doing this. I will give you three first round picks. And Ivica Zubots for Nikola, uh, Nikola Vucevic, and they don't want to do that. Even if I throw in one more second, would they do this? Okay, so maybe I should have went the free agency route. There is a couple centers we can go after here, though. Uh, Nurkic might be the guy. We might try out the Nurkic Herald and get desperate here. So what we are going to do is offer Nurkic about four years, uh, one, yeah, four years, 108 or 104 mil, whatever that is. And we are going to look to bring him in and keep obviously Shea. So we do get Nurkic and what we are going to do is sign Nurkic but not have to renounce the rights on SGA just yet and then whatever deal uh, SGA is going to get here from the Nuggets we are going to match it. So we ended up going a Nurkic route. Now we can still trade Montrez Harrell if it comes to that but the team is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay I am going to move I think Kevin Gelly. I think Kevin Gelly. Uh, to see what team is interested in him. So we are going to trade Cavagelli for a future first round pick and a second round pick to Minnesota. They seem pretty interested in him and they agree to that. So what we are going to do is we are going to send uh, Tyrese Halbert into perimeter shooting. We are going to send, I think, hmm, we'll send, I guess we'll try out to send Nurkic to perimeter shooting. Oh God. And we'll do the same with Montrez Harrell. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work out between the two. So here's the rotation for next year's season. It is going to be uh, Halliburton, SGA, George, Toppin, and Yusuf Nurkic with a bench of Montrezl Harrell, who's going to come off the bench, but kind of what he is in real life. He's going to play a lot of minutes. Zaire Williams, Killian Hayes, and Ivica Zubats. Grid and grind is three and a half stars. We will stay there, I guess. And our preseason power king, Corey Cobb, is number two. Maybe we can compete for a title this year. Who knows? If not, then we're going to have to do a big move next offseason. All right, so the front court that can't shoot at all kind of worked out. We went 58 and 24. We ended up as the one seed in the Western Conference. We are taking on the Grizzlies in round one. So, Ja, Kelly Oubre, Bull Bull. Oh, jeez. Okay, please don't make me lose in round one, TK. So, Shea was our leading scorer with about 21.7 points a game, six and a half assists, and he shot. 40% from three. Uh, Halliburton was fantastic, really, for what I wanted him to be. About 20 points, nine assists. Okay. Uh, Paul George, 14.8 points. I knew I shouldn't have signed him. I think that was, like, the dumb part of this video. Uh, Nurkic was solid. 15, 13, three assists. Harrell off the bench, 14, six and a half. Either, if we don't win at all, him, well, he'll probably get traded, or maybe Nurkic will. I, I don't know. I don't know. We just signed Nurkic. Uh, Zaire Williams was... Solid, nothing special, but solid. Obi Toppin, we see he can space the floor a little bit as our power forward. And then there's Killian Hayes off the bench. It wasn't amazing, but it was all right. And then there's Zubat. So for the playoffs, let's edit this rotation. Paul George will get 34. Halliburton definitely 31. Um, You know what? I think we're just going to leave it at that. So please don't lose to the Grizzlies in round one. All right, uh, I built, I dug us in this hole, so we're going to have to try to get out of it. The Bucks win it all. Giannis is your finals MVP. We're doing one more year. Let's hope I can kind of salvage this video in this offseason of 2023. So we just have one first round pick in this draft, and it is pick 29. So staff signing, you know what? We're going to fire Doc Rivers. We are firing Doc Rivers. There is a couple great coaches on the market, and we are going to go out and give Brad Stevens $10 million a year to be the highest paid coach in the NBA. Uh, I don't know if that's actually the highest paid coach in the NBA, but that's a lot of money. We're doing it for the final year. Doc Rivers hasn't gotten us to the final, so we're going to do that. Let's go to the NBA draft, and let's potentially make a move. Montrezl Harrell, we have a bunch of future first-round picks here. Uh, what could he and two first-round picks even get me? I mean, Jonathan Isaac. Mm, if I mess with his tendencies, maybe. Maybe. Um, nothing. Jante Murray. We don't need a point guard. We don't need a shooting guard. We don't need a small forward. We don't need a center. We need a power forward. So I'm going to be trading my first round pick and my two second round picks for a future or two future Nuggets first round picks. Just going to be used in a trade if we end up making one. So let's go to team buyer options. Halbert and Top, uh, Top and Hayes and Williams. We're going to welcome them all back. Let me see. Is free agency going to be good this year? Oh, we have Peyton Pritchard from Oregon. Cool. Uh, so free agency. Let's see what it looks like. Katie, I mean, he would be the perfect power forward to put there for us. Um, all right, 
so let me forget about free agency. We got to do something via trade. I can't, I can't use top in. We're going to have to trade Montres Hill. We're going to have to trade Montres Hill. We have a lot of first round picks. Let me actually just go and check out some player. Uh, let's go to the player finder. Let's check out some power forwards that are maybe not happy in this situation they are currently in. We're going to call up Memphis again, the team that beat us. And we're going to see if we can throw in Montres Hill. Uh, we're not going to be able to afford this trade, are we? We need to include 10 million more. Never mind. The salaries just aren't going to work out because he's making about 15 mil now. Okay, the other team was ugh, the Hawks. All right, so it's going to be hard to match any salaries now. Oh, this is not good, guys. All right, so we are going to sign George Hill to a two-year deal with the team option. A very team-friendly contract. But George Hill knows he's coming in here and he might not stay here. It's looking like we could end up trading him in a trade to match some salaries uh we also want to bring back zubats so we don't have to renounce the rights on him which is good so let me actually go out and sign him we could include him in any trade because he's about to make a lot of money as well so you know what now we can use george hill we can definitely use george hill so let me go back to jaron jackson jr and offer a king's ransom to do this and try to save the video so he isn't too happy we're gonna offer mantras harrell george hill one first round pick two first round picks three first round picks and four first round picks from four different teams and they agree to that yes 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 thank you we needed that we now have a four spacing power forward to go into the final season all right guys here is like the fifth and final rotation of the video tyrese halberton sga paul george triple j they're in the same position uh yusuf nurkic williams hayes zubats and topping off the bench this is the final team of the video Let's hope that it can win me a championship. Three and a half star defense. No, we are going to go to four star balanced here. And then our preseason power ranking according to me.com is number three. This is it. Let's hope we can salvage the video and actually go to the finals or just the conference finals for once today. So in the fifth and final season, we go 66 and 16. Brad Stevens gets coach of the year. And we are the one seed once again in the Western Conference. But like last year, there's a chance we may lose in round one we're taking on the jazz who have kate cunningham and donovan mitchell also still have rudy gobert and have iggy brisdakis and davis bertans like an all four and starting five just kidding their backward is not foreign at all but they got canada what is he lithuania latvia excuse me and then france so we are taking on the jazz here are the stats from this year sj was our leading score five by Ty tyrese halberton who's been very good in the video so far he's been a stud for us at 13 triple j here shot 40 percent from three nurkic 12.7 rebounds over three assists one steal and one blocking game there's zaire paul george still forgot the signing um and then there's killing he's topping and zubat so let's just get into the playoffs round one. Oh my god don't lose we win in seven they blow a 3-1 lead you know what i don't care i don't even want to know how it happened a win is a win let's move on here to the warriors and just move on yes our first conference finals of the video and we beat the lakers in year one right that's when we shocked everybody and it's looking like lebron retired they do have josh hart colin sexton now ad still monk roko william floyd nefali dante yogi ferrell i think we could beat them yes 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 we win in seven and we are here in the NBA Finals taking on the Celtics. We did lose game one. Kemba Brown, Tatum, Jalen or Jaden? Jaden McDaniels. Uh, Gordon Hayward, Taco Fall, Marcus Smart, Brian Antoine, and Larry Nance Jr. And it is tied 1-1. One, one. Wow, we won game two by one point. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, I, I tried pausing it at the end. But you know what? We ended the video with a finals victory. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, because that was so frustrating last year. But ending the video with the championship makes me very happy. Oh, I think signing Paul George was a little too premature. We should have waited a year and then signed a big free agent or maybe somebody different than Paul George. Finals MVP is Yusuf Nurkic, so I, I guess it worked out signing him. That was also a questionable signing. But yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys want any more What If 2019 offseason rebuilds, let me know in the comments section below. But yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.